All right, what's up y'all? Today we're gonna to talk about multicam editing. Hey, my name is Danny Bull. I'm a cameraman for the BBC. Over the last 10 years, I filmed in the Amazon and the Himalayas, from the Rohingya crisis in Bangladesh to the protests in Hong Kong. I hope to share here some of the tips and tricks I've learned over the years. So it's crazy times we're living in. Um, I'm gonna go through a bit of a workflow edit in Final Cut right now. If that's not your thing, I hope this gives you a bit of a distraction, something to watch, to calm your nerves about all the panic and fright that everybody's facing around the world right now with the coronavirus. Um, if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, please like or subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And uh, let's dive in. Okay, so we'll try to go through this as quick as possible. Keep it short and sweet. This is a shout out to Jonah Fisher who was asking about a multi-cam tutorial. Okay, so this is from a recent trip. We went to Phuket to see how tourism was affected by the coronavirus. We're gonna go through this sequence right here. It's a three camera sequence. So we have a shot on our subject, the two shot, and a shot on Jonathan. So the first thing I wanna say about doing these kind of interviews is that um, you need to make sure all your cameras are shooting the same frame rate. You know, see that each camera is shooting on 25 frames per second. So all our cameras are shooting the same frame rate. So I'm gonna make a new project. Okay, and I'm gonna call this the tourism interview. Okay, now I already have our three cameras loaded in here. If not, you want to import all three. So I have a two shot. I have a single shot of our subject and then a reverse of Jonathan. For this section, I know that both of my mics, my audio forms are coming from this camera. So I'm going to use this camera to sync up the others. So I'll drop this in. So now we have one clip and I'll just extend that to the end. Then I'll get the two shot we had. I'm gonna move this down over here by pushing Q because I already know that our clap is somewhere in the middle of this clip and I wanna have that at the beginning first. And then I'm gonna do the same for the next. I hit Q and it drops in. What I do with every shot is whenever we do an interview, I make sure that I have all three cameras where, John, where we can see Jonathan clap. And I'm gonna line up all the cameras with the clap visually and with the audio. So if you can see, I can already see right here, there's a spike. I know that spike is a clap and I can see Jonathan clapping in frame. So I'm already just gonna clip right here and to, to make a cut in the, in the video, I'm doing Command Shift B. So I go to my place, Command Shift B, I cut and I'm gonna delete everything before that. So now my first moment is gonna be that. So I'll do the same for our other cameras. I can already see where the audio is spiking and that's my clap, it's right there. You can see it in the audio and you can see it visually. I'm gonna delete what's before. So now that I've clipped each one and this one already has the start with the clap, we can see it in the waveform and we can see it on the screen, perfect. So now all I'll do is I'll drag these two back and just to talk about this, I know that there is a multi-cam editor within Final Cut. There's a way to do this. That's also a fine way. For me, this is faster because sometimes the computer doesn't line up the audio the correct way or confuses wave files. So I prefer to do it myself, do it manually. I've gotten fast at it and it's the way I like to do it. So now I'm gonna clip that right to the end. I did Command Shift B to take that out and I'm just gonna align our second shot to our first. So there it is, okay. And now because this camera broke it up into two, I'm gonna bring this back. And I always have this snap on, right now it's off, but if I hit N on the keyboard, it turns on. So I'm gonna bring that and snap it right back to each other. So now that's gonna line up fine. Okay, now we can take off the audio for these. And now I'll get our third clip. I'll bring the audio right back up over here, just so that we can light it up. I'm gonna drag this forward. I'm 
and that's our third clip lined up. Okay, now, these are three different cameras. They're all gonna have three different looks. We have a Lumix camera, we have a Canon C300, and we have a Sony a7 III. So they all have three different looks. So if you wanna just stop there, at least now you know that we have a, a three camera shoot all lined up. At this point, I can just export the audio. If I wanna have one of my colleagues look, have a listen to the audio, maybe they wanna pick out something specific to it, we are all gonna have the same time code and that's what we want. So zero seconds on my timeline here will be zero seconds on the audio, 10 minutes will be 10 minutes. You can either do this before or after. I like to at least get the, I like to create a, a separation in the beginning. So I did command shift B and that cuts through all of them. And then right now I will reduce the scale to 50 and I will move each frame over here. And then this shot to the bottom. So as you can see, there's three cameras, three looks. So we're gonna go in and try to create a seamless look between all of them. So I'm gonna go to our color board and our waveform. So I'm gonna start with the first. And if you wanna see more about color correcting, we can do another video about that. I'm just gonna go through this very quickly. Okay, so now we have three cameras with three similar looks. That's exactly what we wanted. If you want to see what they look like before, our colors are way off. Now our colors are looking the same. Okay, so we want to find our sound bite. So this, in this case, we're going to talk about how Chinese tourists have not been coming to Thailand and how that's affecting the economy. Okay, so here's our, our sequence. Two, three days, no Chinese travel to Phuket. In two, three days, no Chinese travel to Phuket. So I'm gonna take that. And then I always raise it. And to raise it up one level, you do command, option, and the up arrow. And now I have this still in our same timeline, but I know that I want this. And I can clip up the rest of the sound bites I want, and we can put it together later on. And then I can copy those over. I say, okay, I want these two. I'll do Command C to copy, and then I will paste it on the end. And after that, I can work with my sequence, and then I can make cuts. I know that if I want to change the camera, I simply do, I know if I want to change the camera, I just hit B, on the keyboard, and then I turn, turn to a blade tool, and wherever my my playhead is, I can make a cut. Then I hit A to go back to a selection, and then if I hit V, I can make that camera visible just by hitting that key, V. So now if you see that whole sound bite in sequence, so then we have our two shot, our subject, our two shot, a reverse of Jonathan. So that's how I like to shoot and edit multicam interviews. Okay, let me know if this helps and what else you all wanna see.